set up the sound system. They will be performing uh, Baby It's Cold Outside. Anybody nervous beside me? Baby, it's cold outside. 
baby, don't hold out. Maybe it's cold outside. Yeah. 
Joe Mayo just returned from Philadelphia. <laughs> Ready, kid? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
See if we can keep that continuing. My name is Tom Breakerhop. I'm here with uh, Jim and the Highlands Traveling Choir. And thank you to the Leisure Town residents who have uh, supplemented our voices. So that's wonderful. Uh, Children's Carol, Away in the Manger. For a long time, it was thought that Martin Luther authored this. Matter of fact, it was known as Luther's Cradle Hymn. But recent research has shown that it probably wasn't from Luther, maybe the original idea, but it actually stems from America in the 19th century. All three verses. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. The next uh, next carol is Joy to the World. It was not originally written as a Christmas carol. Isaac Watts, one of the greatest hymn writers in church history, published a book of poems in 1719. Each poem was based on a psalm, and one of those poems was an adaptation of Psalm 98. Watts interpreted this psalm as a celebration of Jesus' role as king of the church and of the whole world as well. More than a hundred years later, his poem was set to music to give us what has become one of the most well-known and loved Christmas carols of all time, Joy to the World. existing Christmas carols. It's estimated to be from the 16th century or earlier. The traditional English melody is in a minor scale, and this carol is mentioned in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol from 1843. Gloria 
from a traditional French song of unknown origin. The song's subject is the birth of Jesus Christ as narrated in the Gospel of Luke, specifically the scene in which the shepherds outside Bethlehem encounter a multitude of angels singing and praising God for the newborn king. Three verses. originating from Latin meaning birthday. This carol became a great favorite for Christmas Eve before 1823 in England. Another interpretation of the French word Noel is Christmas. Put both interpretations together and we have Christmas, the birthday of Jesus. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Christmas Carol is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It was written by Charles Wesley. You might remember that last name. Originally is a poem in 1739. Wesley wrote over 6,000 hymns, and his brother, John Wesley, was a famous theologian, the founder of Methodism, and said that Charles's hymnal was the best theological book in existence. In 1753, George Whitfield, a student who would eventually become a colleague of Charles Wesley, adapted Charles's poem into the song that we now know today. of St. Nicholas Parish Church in Opendorf, Germany faced a disaster. The organ had been damaged by mice. The chance of fixing the instrument before the evening service was not possible. Father Joseph Moore was not a man to just give up, though. He pulled out a poem he had written several years before. Moore took his poem to the schoolmaster and organist of a nearby town, Franz Gruber, he asked that Gruber write music to his poem to be played on the guitar. In several hours, Gruber had the music done, and the carol was played and sung for the first time that night at the Christmas Eve service. Thank you. 
our next Christmas carol is Deck the Halls. The melody is Welsh, dating back to the 16th century and belongs to a winter carol, Nos Galen. The English lyrics were written by the Scottish musician Thomas Oliphant in 1862. in southern France. The music for the song was composed by the prolific French composer and music, music critic Adolphe Adam in 1855, and then the song was translated from French to English by John Sullivan Dwight. O Holy Night is one of the most well-known Christmas carols, reflecting on Jesus' birth and the redemption of humanity. Gemini 6 
on December 16, 1965, made Jingle Bells the first song to be heard from space. They played it on a harmonica with the company Bells. The harmonica and bells that Shara and Stafford used for their broadcast are now in the Smithsonian Institution. English Christmas Carol. The song itself was meant for carolers who were hired to entertain the wealthy, and in turn, the carolers would receive treats.
How do we do? Trustees, come on. Trustees. Okay, and uh, after Abby, 